Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting ready for our slicer video. I'm watching this guy do the slice dance. What do you think? Can we pull this off at our wedding? Hmm, sure. <laughs> well, I think we should practice it. Anyway, hey, you want to take a ride with me and we'll go shoot a little tutorial on the, uh, the slice serve? Sure, but we have to hit afterwards. Deal. Let's okay. roll. Okay. And I love doing these serve videos because it's my favorite shot. Mine too, but I know my technique could definitely be improved. Yeah, it's funny. I think a lot of people want to improve their serves because if they have the confidence to know that they can hold serve, they're going to feel really great about the way they play. Is that how you feel? Yeah, absolutely. Cool, then I think you're going to love this video because I got the secret to hitting a killer slice serve and you can easily learn it. Hmm, sign me up. All right, let's go. You know, my dad always said that practice doesn't make perfect, that perfect practice makes perfect. And he said that, you know, practicing something the wrong way is kind of like ironing in wrinkles. And I guess that'd be a good place to start for an instructional video like this is, you know, make sure you're doing the drills in a way that you're getting great results. So let's head out onto the courts and I'll show you what I mean by this. All right, beautiful day to make a slice serve, wouldn't you say? Now I could give you the super scientific, complicated, fancy pants version of this, but it's really not that complicated and I respect your time. So let's go. All right, step one is to get in a continental grip. And this is absolutely key to getting the spin that you want. You know, I know a guy who's still trying to get side spin on his serve with a forehand grip. And every day he comes up to me and says, man, this serve is just working great. So don't be that delusional guy and just trust me on this one. Continental grip is all you need for this. All right, so think of the slice serve as kind of like your cousin of the flat serve. And if you watch my video on the flat serve, you know that we're going to turn our hand outwards or pronate if you like these uh, $10 fancy pants words. So here, we're gonna really catch more of the outside of the ball. We're gonna almost cup the ball or think of peeling a grape. So think about swinging across the ball like this. That's what creates the side spin and makes your opponent utterly confused, baffled, and stupefied when the ball takes off as it hits the ground. Easy, nothing to it, right? Okay, so now we know how to contact the ball or peel that grape. So now let's just get comfortable swinging across the ball. So as you can see, I'm standing here at the net with some absolutely killer socks on. Hey, it was laundry day when I shot this, so uh, what can I say? And now, uh, just get comfortable swinging across the ball like this. Notice that I'm not paying any attention to where the ball is actually going. I'm just kind of getting into hitting across the ball. When you do this, you'll probably notice a sound that sounds like you're ripping paper more than a cannon shot like you would have on a flat serve. Man, let me just say that after shooting this video and showing these to my fiance, she was just slicing the hell out of the ball. I mean, she was doing so awesome. Anyway, uh, let's briefly look at the follow through here because you're hitting these great serves, but where does the racket go afterwards? Well, if you think about peeling the grape like we talked about, you'll notice that your arm naturally wants to curl into your body like this almost like you're cradling a baby or holding a bowling ball if you're a bowler. Okay, logical. So now let's put those two things together with a little delayed follow-through. And you might ask, well, Ramon, why the delayed follow-through? Well, I found it helpful to really feel that brush on the ball and then focus on the follow-through. Seems to work, so you might want to do it too. All right, simple, easy, nothing to it, right? So you can see how we're building this killer slice serve for you. By the way, this serve works great to open up the court. It's time and money well spent. So next, take out that pause and just let that follow through naturally happen. Clearly, you'll feel a little more loose and relaxed here. So just focus on peeling that grape. All right, next step. I know this seems like a lot of steps, but I just wanted to be thorough for you because I know you took the time to watch this video, so I wanna make this as simple and effective for you as possible. Nothing to it here. So just get into the trophy position so your racket's sticking straight up in the air. And again, just focus on peeling that grape. You wanna focus on the sound and the feel here. 
If you do this correctly, you'll notice a brushing sound, and you'll see that the ball is really curving in the air like this. Dangerous shot here, but that's the risk that we're willing to take here. So we know this stuff works, and I even put my tripod at risk. And that's the kind of dedication and professionalism that you can expect from me at all times. Okay, here it is, full serve. So just toss it up and peel that grape brushing across and around the ball. You'll instantly notice if you did it correctly because, as we said, the sound of the ball will either be a pop, a brush, or a doink. <laughs> and admittedly, I doinked a few making this video for you. Nobody's perfect. But I promise that if you practice these steps one at a time, you know, shoot for 10, 20, or even 50 quality repetitions on each step, you'll have that slice serve that you want, and your opponent will have another challenge that you bring to the table. I want to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. As you can see, there's nothing to building the slice serve when you take it one step at a time like we covered in this video. It's how I did it, it's how my fiance did it, and it's how you can do it too. By the way, if you made it to the end of this video, then you're clearly serious about improving your serve, and I want to acknowledge you for that. You know, most people don't take the time to study and learn the progressions like you have to really take their game to the next level. You know, you're sitting in front of your screen, you're watching these exhilarating progressions with crazy socks, and it shows that you have the commitment and the desire to improve your serve now. That's why you might want to check out my new course, The Simple Serve, how to easily develop your serve into a consistent and reliable weapon. It's specifically for people like you who want to develop an effortlessly powerful, versatile, and consistent serve that will allow them to take their game to the next level. It's not available yet, but if you're interested, you can get on the early bird list by clicking the link below and gain access to it before I release it to the general public. Regardless of whether or not you decide to invest in the simple serve, I want to sincerely again thank you for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I have a great time making every video for you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you soon.